For decades, the prevailing narrative in European prehistory was clear. The spread of farming populations from Anatolia, followed by a dramatic demographic upheaval during the Bronze Age, as steppe herders reshaped the genetic landscape of the continent. Yet, ancient DNA from Sardinia is rewriting that story. Here is an island geographically isolated, with a sparse population, that astonishingly preserved deep Neolithic ancestry for millennia, resisting the continental waves of migration that transformed Europe. How is it possible that while entire regions were genetically overwritten, Sardinia remained a living archive of Europe's earliest farmers? In this investigation, we'll explore the numbers, the methods, and the evolutionary puzzles behind one of the most unexpected genetic legacies ever uncovered. Through ancient DNA extraction, radiocarbon dating, haplogroup reconstruction, and population modeling using PCA and F statistics. Sardinia's human presence stretches back to the late Upper Paleolithic and Mesolithic periods, with archaeological evidence suggesting settlement as early as 12,000 years ago when small groups of hunter-gatherers occupied coastal and inland caves. With the arrival of farming communities during the Neolithic period, 6,4500 BCE, Sardinia became a key node in the spread of agriculture across the western Mediterranean. These early settlers are associated with the Cardial Ware culture, named after its distinct shell-impressed pottery, which links Sardinia to maritime networks extending from the Balkans and Anatolia across the Mediterranean basin. By the Copper Age, 3500-2300 BCE, Sardinia's population expanded modestly, yet remained relatively isolated. The Bell Beaker phenomenon, which swept through much of Europe around 2500-2000 BCE, left only limited genetic and material traces on the island, reinforcing the perception that Sardinia's communities maintained cultural continuity without large-scale external influxes. The Bronze Age Nuragic Civilization, 1800 to 500 BCE, represents the island's most emblematic prehistoric phase. The Nuragic people are renowned for constructing over 7,000 stone towers and fortifications, such as Su Nuraxi di Baramini, reflecting a complex and organized society with localized networks rather than centralized state structures. Trade links existed with the Tyrrhenian coast, the Balearics, and even North Africa but gene flow appears restricted. For decades, scholars treated Sardinia as a genetic refuge, an island where early European farmer ancestry persisted relatively untouched by later continental migrations. This assumption aligned with archaeological findings of technological continuity and minimal foreign material culture. Yet, as recent DNA analyses reveal, the island's genetic history is far more intricate balancing isolation, drift, and selective interactions rather than a simple story of refuge and survival. The recent genetic analysis of ancient Sardinians is based on 12 well-preserved genomes spanning nearly 6,000 years from the Neolithic 5500 BCE through the Iron Age 300 BCE. Radiocarbon dating of these samples yields calibrated age ranges with typical error margins of plus or minus 80 to plus or minus 150 years, depending on collagen preservation and environmental factors. Key sites include Sukadu, Sanchi Thomes, Santa Cristina, and Monte Diacati, representing distinct cultural phases from early farming settlements to later neuragic communities. Extracting ancient DNA in Sardinia posed significant challenges. The island's warm, humid Mediterranean climate accelerates DNA degradation, while acidic soils and microbial contamination further complicate retrieval. Samples were preferentially selected from dense petrous bones, which offer superior preservation. Rigorous contamination controls were applied, including clean room protocols, bleach surface decontamination, and extraction blanks to monitor environmental DNA intrusion. For data validation and analysis, Researchers employed established computational frameworks. Eigensoft was used to conduct principal component analysis, PCA, positioning Sardinian genomes relative to other ancient and modern populations. Admixture analysis quantified ancestral components, while QPADM models tested gene flow hypotheses and admixture proportions with statistical confidence. Additionally, F3 and F4 statistics were applied to identify shared drift and assess genetic affinity. 
This dataset, though modest in sample size, is among the most temporally and geographically comprehensive genetic records from the Western Mediterranean, providing unprecedented insight into long-term population dynamics and isolation. The ancient DNA from Sardinia revealed findings that sharply contrast with broader patterns across Europe. Across individuals spanning from the Neolithic 5500 BCE through the Bronze Age 1200 BCE, Sardinians consistently retain between 80 to 90 percent early European farmer EF ancestry, derived from Neolithic populations that spread from Anatolia into Europe. This continuity is striking as much of continental Europe experienced substantial genetic turnover during the Bronze Age, 3000-2000 BCE, driven by migrations associated with steppe pastoralist groups bearing R1b, M269 Y chromosome lineages and new cultural practices. In Sardinia, steppe-related ancestry remains negligible or absent in Bronze Age samples, with only faint signals appearing in later periods. This suggests that the island's populations avoided or resisted the demographic shifts that reshaped northern and central Europe. The paternal lineages support this pattern. Y-DNA haplogroups, such as G2A, typical of early farming communities, dominate the ancient Sardinian samples, while steppe-associated R1B haplogroups are either absent or extremely rare until much later periods. Maternal lineages also indicate continuity. MTDNA haplogroups like K1, J1, and H1, which appear in early Neolithic populations, persist across millennia, underscoring long-term demographic stability rather than replacement. PCA analyses reinforce this picture. When plotted against other ancient genomes, ancient Sardinian individuals cluster closely with Anatolian Neolithic populations, rather than with Bronze Age groups from the steppe, Central Europe, or the Balkans. The genetic distance to populations that underwent large migrations during the Bronze Age is considerable. This pattern of persistence amid broader continental flux challenges assumptions of uniform prehistoric migration. Sardinia emerges not as a peripheral outpost swept up in pan-European transformations, but as a refuge where early farming ancestry endured with remarkable fidelity until external influences began to appear much later in its history. Compared to other regions of Europe, Sardinia's genetic trajectory is exceptional. In mainland Italy, Iberia, and the Balkans, ancient DNA reveals substantial admixture from steppe-related populations during the Bronze Age, 3000-2000 BCE, with our 1BY DNA lineages spreading rapidly and reshaping gene pools. By contrast, Sardinia shows remarkable genetic continuity, with minimal steppe ancestry and long-term persistence of EF-derived lineages. This divergence is explained by geographic isolation, genetic drift, and founder effects. Small, stable populations allowed early farmer ancestry to remain dominant, while random allele frequency changes reinforced distinct genetic patterns over generations. Meanwhile, mainland regions experienced active gene flow facilitated by open plains, river corridors, and large-scale migrations. Comparisons with nearby regions such as Corsica, southern France, and North Africa reveal only limited admixture signals. While trade networks existed, evidenced by shared pottery styles, metallurgical techniques, and marine routes, these exchanges did not translate into major demographic shifts. Archaeological findings further support this distinction. Sardinian sites show continuity in material culture, whereas regions like Iberia display hybrid traditions and abrupt cultural transitions aligning with migratory influxes. The genetic and archaeological records together suggest that interaction did not equate to large-scale population replacement. The absence or near absence of steppe ancestry in Bronze Age Sardinia presents one of the most intriguing puzzles in European prehistory. Several factors likely converged to create this genetic refuge. Geographic barriers played a primary role. Sardinia's position in the central western Mediterranean, separated from the mainland by significant stretches of sea, limited overland migrations that transformed continental Europe. The island's rugged interior, marked by mountains and karstic landscapes, further constrained large-scale inland movements isolating communities from external demographic pressures. 
yet geographic separation alone cannot fully explain the persistence of early farmer ancestry. Cultural resilience and social structure likely buffered against population replacement. Archaeological continuity in architecture, burial practices, and subsistence strategies suggests that local communities maintain stable traditions over generations, possibly discouraging or absorbing incoming groups rather than being supplanted by them. Maritime networks, while active, appear to have facilitated selective gene flow rather than widespread integration. Contacts with Corsica, southern France, and North Africa brought goods, technologies, and ideas, but not substantial population influxes, as genetic signals remain faint. Population genetic models highlight the importance of small effective population size and genetic drift, which amplify ancestral lineages and reinforce isolation. Founder effects, where initial settlers' gene pool disproportionately shapes future generations. Further entrenched EF ancestry. Comparisons with other islands deepen this context. Orkney and Malta, despite geographic isolation, show evidence of steppe admixture during the Bronze Age, while Crete's genetic history reflects a mixture of local continuity and external influences. Sardinia stands apart a rare case where isolation and demographic stability allowed early European ancestry to endure virtually untouched for millennia. Modern Sardinians represent a remarkable genetic legacy shaped by both deep continuity and later admixture. Contemporary analyses estimate that 50 to 60 percent of their ancestry remains derived from early European farmer EF lineages, a proportion significantly higher than that found in most mainland European populations. This enduring signature reflects the island's long-term demographic stability and limited large-scale migrations during the Bronze Age. However, subsequent periods introduced new layers of genetic complexity. Studies utilizing whole genome sequencing and haplotype-based analyses have detected admixture signals from North Africa likely introduced through maritime trade and conquest, as well as Near Eastern and Continental European influences associated with Roman expansion, Vandal incursions, and medieval Mediterranean exchanges. These influxes, while modest in scale compared to earlier prehistoric migrations, reshaped allele frequencies without fully replacing the ancestral EF component. From a biomedical perspective, the Sardinian gene pool has proven invaluable. The relative genetic homogeneity and conservation of rare haplotypes, particularly those linked to lactase persistence, immune response pathways, and metabolic traits, make the population an important resource for mapping disease-associated variants and understanding evolutionary pressures in isolated communities. Moreover, these preserved lineages have broader implications for reconstructing the spread of agriculture across Europe. By comparing Sardinian haplotypes with ancient and modern datasets, researchers have traced patterns of migration, drift, and selection that illuminate how early farming populations adapted to new environments and persisted in pockets of relative isolation. Sardinia's modern genome, therefore, is both a living archive and a testament to resilience shaped by isolation, interaction, and the layered history of the Mediterranean world. The genetic story of ancient Sardinia compels us to rethink long-held assumptions about prehistoric Europe. The widely accepted narrative that steppe migrations during the Bronze Age triggered a near-complete population replacement across the continent now appears far less universal. Sardinia's deep continuity in ancestry demonstrates that demographic upheavals were neither uniform nor inevitable. Islands like Sardinia serve as reservoirs of deep ancestry where isolation, founder effects, and cultural resilience preserved lineages lost elsewhere. These genetic refuges offer unique windows into early human expansions, subsistence strategies, and evolutionary pressures that shaped ancient societies in ways continental records alone cannot capture. This case also underscores the necessity of integrating disciplines. Archaeology reveals material continuity, climate science contextualizes environmental stability, and genetics traces the invisible threads of ancestry and interaction. Only by weaving these perspectives together can we reconstruct the complex, regionally varied histories of human populations. Ultimately, 
ancient Sardinia teaches us that human history is far from a linear tale of conquest and replacement. It is instead a mosaic of continuity, adaptation, and selective interaction, where islands, environments, and cultures intertwined to shape diverse pathways of survival. This nuanced understanding enriches not only our past, but how we approach identity, migration, and resilience today.